Hello, everyone. My name is Shandor Darko, and I'm going to talk about the seniority trap. What trap? What is the problem? Well, imagine that you code less and less and less and less. Maybe you don't code at all. All what you do is reporting. You're dealing with bureaucracy. And maybe you're doing uh, some project management uh, as well. And of course, there's one more thing. You keep complaining to your boss that uh, that's not what you signed up for. That's not what you want to do as a developer. And you, you really must change something. Well, maybe your boss would just ironically say that, oh, you haven't coded in three weeks, two days, and six hours, Mr. Senior Developer. What pity. You have more important things to do than being so geeky. By the way, have you already sent those TPS reports? Well, sadly, I find that uh, this is pretty much the situation in, uh, in many corporations in mid and uh, senior software engineer roles. And uh, I essentially found three ways to get into this trap. You might argue that the first one is not really a trap because you were looking for it, but, but why? Well, maybe you found coding boring. You didn't uh, take your time to learn it well enough. And well, that's clearly not the case for you because uh, I know that you are interested in, uh, in coding and, and you learn a lot uh, even in, in, in your free time. But for some, it might be the case. Or maybe you were coding too much and you got uh, kind of kind of burned out. Or maybe you thought you were already on the top and you wanted to conquer some, uh, some other summits. Well, this can be especially dangerous if uh, you only think that you are a good developer, but you are not. But uh, I don't want to share personal stories uh, when interacting with, uh, with such people. Well, it's better to, to avoid them. So there is a the second way that maybe it seemed to be the only way for you to, to get some promotion. Maybe you wanted a better salary. Maybe you told your boss that, hey, you know, I have uh, three hungry mouths to feed at home. I, I need a raise. And maybe your boss told you that, okay, I, I can give you a raise. I can promote you. Well, but first you have to coordinate some projects. Let me delegate some stuff for you. And, uh, well, that was the only way for you, so you accepted. And maybe then you even had to, to lead a stream. And uh, then you essentially became a project manager, but uh, you kept the title of being a developer, and sometimes you had to do some developer tasks, but uh, you, you kept doing in, uh, it in worse and worse quality, because, uh, well, that's not what uh, you do all day long. So essentially, you became a project manager or even a manager, but without the perks, without, uh, without the extra salary. So you got, you got trapped. Or maybe, maybe it just happened to you. Because simply, you had a good character and uh, you always went the extra mile when something was uh, asked from you. And um, you took care of the people, of the problems, of the projects around you. You didn't... Uh, you didn't mess up everything. So essentially, you were always acting in a responsible manner, and uh, the tasks, they, they just found you. And you got, you got trapped into a role where uh, you did no more coding. Why? You kept the title of, uh, of a developer. But is there a way out? Yes, there is, but uh, I have no more than one minute to, to give you a hint about the way out. The most important thing is that you know what you want. Maybe you don't want programming, but you still want to, to be in the IT field. It's fine, but then don't keep the title of a developer, change positions and, uh, and change uh, the ladder from an engineering one to maybe a project management or managerial one, because uh, then you can focus solely on those tasks. It's okay. If you want to keep uh, coding, well, you might have to consider changing jobs if, uh, if it's clearly not possible in your organization 
to get recognized by being a good developer. It might be the case. But first, you should try something else. You should be proactive. And uh, well, you know, in many corporations, they really love when uh, you have some side roles. It's encouraged, even expected. Well, create yours. Be a technical mentor, create, uh, organize some, some coding dojos, and uh, well, I could give you many, many ideas how to, what to, to organize. And don't forget to communicate your priorities to your boss because, uh, well, maybe you just uh, do an awesome job as a project coordinator and your boss thinks that, uh, well, you just, uh, you just like it. And uh, she or he has no idea that you basically hate it. The conclusion is you should clearly know what you want. That's the most important thing. And you have to actively shape your role because that's uh, your own responsibility. Your career is your responsibility. And don't be afraid to say no, even, uh, even to your boss. Thank you.